Hi, this is Marty from Photoshop Art House. I'm going to show you how to twist, rotate, and warp any shape using the Puppet Warp tool. Open a photo of someone or something that you'd like to use for this project. I downloaded this one from Shutterstock. The first step is to separate our subject from the background. There are many ways to do this, however, for this example, I'll open any of these selection tools, and at the top, I'll click the Select Subject button. Press Ctrl or Command J to cut and copy our subject onto its own layer. Ctrl click or Command click the subject to select its shape. Go to Select, Modify, and Expand. I'll expand it by 20 pixels based on the size and resolution of my document. Expand it to an amount whose distance from the subject is approximately this much. Click the eyeball icon next to the subject to hide it, and make a photo under it active. Go to Edit, and Generative Fill. When the Generative Fill prompt window opens, just click Generate. Photoshop is using AI technology to analyze the photo and fill in the area inside the selection. I did many tutorials on Generative Fill, so if you'd like to watch them, I provided their links in this video's description. Notice it created a separate layer of the filled-in background with a layer mask of the expanded subject next to it. It gives us three variations of the filled-in area from which to choose. I'll click on each one to see which one I prefer. I'll choose this. I'll merge the two layers by pressing Ctrl or Command E. So now we can manipulate our subject over its background without affecting the background, make the subject visible and active. We'll convert it into a smart object so we can modify it non-destructively. Click the icon at the upper right corner and click Convert to Smart Object. Go to Edit and Puppet Warp. If you don't see the mesh, check Show Mesh. Right now, the mesh is two pixels wider than the actual subject. I'll decrease the expansion to zero to make the mesh hug the shape we're going to warp. I generally like to increase the density to more points for a finer transformation. I'll uncheck Show Mesh so we can see the figure under it better. Now we'll add pins to define the warp. The pins act as anchors or hinges. To illustrate this, I'll click on the neck and the navel. When I drag from the navel, it rotates the figure from the point on the neck. By dragging it down or up, it stretches the figure from the navel. I'll undo the last step by pressing Ctrl or Command Z. By dragging the point on the neck side to side, it moves the figure from the point on the navel. To delete an anchor point, make sure it's active and Alt-click or Option-click it. I'll click back on the neck. If we bring our cursor close to an anchor point and press and hold Alt or Option, we'll see a circle outline appear surrounding the point. When we rotate the circle, our shape will also rotate centered around that anchor point. If we have parts of our figure that overlap, I'll show you how to make them go in front of or behind other parts. I'll make an anchor point on the shoulder and rotate it. If we want to make the hand go behind the leg, at the top, click the Pin Depth button that has an arrow pointing down. Notice the hand is now behind the leg. To place it back in front of the leg, just click this Pin Depth that has the arrow pointing up. When you're happy with your image, press Enter or Return, or click the check mark at the top. This is Marty from Photoshop Art House. Thanks for watching.